Mr. Nikwe. Uh, can you explain us what is Armaton Birds, please? And what do you do for diaspora? Yes, so um, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, we are in Paris, Honorable, bienvenue à Paris, the city of love. Today is the Women's Day, uh, so I would like to greet all the queens in the, <laughs> in the audience. Um, so to reply to your question, I think there is three points. Uh, the first is, um, I, I would say, the friendship between Ghana and France. As I'm francophone, I'll talk about French people willing to visit Ghana. Mm. And uh, the friendship between Ghana and France is very strong. Uh, simply because our celebration was in the mairie, so the, um, the place where we have the mayor, that mm -hmm. is something strong. Not yeah. all African countries have the, that opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, we have this um, Creation Africa that was launched by our president uh, in, at the embassy last year, or the French embassy last year in, in Accra. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were there, and so the, the friendship is very strong, and I think um, is a real opportunity for, for, for Ghana to, to work with uh, French-speaking countries. Um, as a, I would say as a member of the diaspora who came back home, um, what we are seeking for is trustworthy um, partners. Ghana is a, is a land of opportunities, plenty, plenty, plenty everywhere, but also risks. A lot of risks involved uh, in Ghana, and uh, so our job as a tour operator in Ghana, um, so by the way, Amatan Bird is a tour operator based in Accra, and we try to uh, create and uh, promote local experiences. So travel to Ghana with the locals is the best way to discover what we are really. And uh, so what I try to do is, I'm, just, I'm not just selling Ghana, I'm selling who I am. Because I came back to Ghana, I discovered that my mother is a queen mother in Adan, Nene Bisensu. My father is born in um, Asene, Jonshi. So I'm working, I'm willing to work with those local communities and see what we can do regarding tourism. So what we do is, um, for example, in Bukum, we work with uh, Isonabu Nikla to create a boxing adventure, and it worked. So I found an investor here who traveled with me to Ghana last year, and he saw our connections and how we can do something nice for him. Actually, there's Olymp Olympic Games in, African Olympic Games in Ghana, so we have that boxer who will travel next week to go and sponsor some players and do all those connections. So I think as a, as a member of Jasper, we want to come back home and do things where we are from. So I try, I start from there. So I'm from Bukum. My mother is born in Bukum. That's where I'm from. And my grandfather is born in Bigada. So I went there. I was like, wow. So we have this in Ghana, and I'm not even aware of that. Mm -hmm. So I went to meet the, the, the leaders. Um, so Nene Zetovi, um, Asafache Goleku. So I'm greeting them at the, at the same time to give me the opportunity to to, to do things with them. And uh, it's very good because not all the, the countries in Africa give the voice to youth. Yes. And uh, in Ghana, I would like to thank the, the government to give us the opportunity to talk, to speak, and build things together. Because I think it's the right way to, to create something uh, good for the future. So in Ada, what I propose to them is nice thing. So a community-based cultural center, um, an artisan's village, but based on what we have there, we have everything there. So they give me the, the confidence to, to keep on going. And last year we raised some funds that will help to build all those things. And that will have a huge impact on, on, that, on, on the area. So I think um, when the diaspora come back home, as we try to connect them with the locals, trust wealthy locals, people who will help them to build that in, and, uh, and um, also focus on the impact that they will have with their projects. So the impacts will be territorial, social, economic, and uh, because now we have different business models where we not just extract and sell, we try to create value around uh, a brand that will bring um, things around the impacts. So in Adan, we have very huge impacts because we are working with the locals and uh, it's a community-based project. So th that's where we start from Amatan Birds. And now we are exploring other regions and willing to work with other regions to also be in the same uh, mindset of creating value with the locals, with the youth, and also with the rural areas. I think um, there's a lot that can be done. I think, yeah, and with this kind of events, it helps us to, to show that we're not alone and we are doing things in the right way. And um, by times goes, we like to say that in Ghana, by times goes, things will get um, better. So yeah, I'm very happy to be part of, of these events. And I think uh, Amatan Bed is also, um, the 
what the government is willing to see, what the local uh, readers are willing to see. So I'm happy to represent that. And I think there's a lot of people who are willing to come to Ghana, not only Ghanaian, but also different French-speaking countries from like Cameroon, or uh, all the countries around us, Ivory Coast. They know that Ghana is going to be something very special. And uh, we are surfing on a wave now that is like just incredible. Like for it's incredible. In two years, we, we made so many things. Uh, I was not expecting to raise that much funds, having that much visitors, having that much French people who are interested. And as we are bilingual uh, to operator, it helps them to feel comfortable and, uh, and they're happy to, to travel to Ghana. And uh, their experience is really great because they are with the locals. And yeah, that's what I will, I will say what we do for the diaspora. Well, that is very rich. You can clap for him. Um, so I, if I'm not mistaken, there is a big part of your clients that are looking for experiences, but also areas to invest. What are the type of investment they're looking for? Because we talked about entertainment, we talked about agriculture, tourism. What, they, what are they looking for? I think they are looking for um, supporting local entrepreneurs. Like, there's a lot of initiatives, but unfortunately, not a lot of, I would say, monitoring, mentoring, or financing, funding of, of those things. So they are willing to target those kind of people who are in, lo in Ghana, have brilliant ideas, like brilliant ideas, but not the, the support to grow their business. So that's the first thing I think they're looking for. They're also looking for, um, uh, I would say, industries where they are sure that they will have a return from their investment because nobody wants to just um, go somewhere and lo lose money. So I think Ghana can also take advantage of that and showing that you can come to Ghana, invest in Ghana, and yeah, you have your return of investment. So yeah, that's uh, what I would say. For the industries, there's so many opportunities. So, so, so many. I think you also I talk about it. And uh, when I travel to Ghana, I just take a trot row. I just go through the city and I see so many opportunities everywhere, everywhere. In all, like digital, um, training. Uh, we are working with the Cape Coast University to train local guys. But I think um, tomorrow we'll talk about griots because that's what people want to experience experience Ghana, Africa with our traditional griots. So we're working with them to make them understand that, okay, uh, today you are training your students in this way. This is what maybe you can add to make, prepare them for what will be their job in five years time. So yeah, so many opportunities. For real, Ghana is, is incredible for that. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's also why I came back to Ghana. I was very comfortable in France, but what what we can build in Ghana is like crazy. Amazing. So, yeah. Ghana is definitely the place to be. Exactly. <laughs> if there is one thing we should take away from this conversation, what would it be? Pour conclure. Pour conclure. So um, what I can say is, I guess we are sure that everything is in Ghana. I personally travel more than 25 countries around the world, and what you can experience in Ghana. We have everything. We, we basically have everything. And uh, I think now it's a question of monitoring what we, are, we have engaged. Uh, the roads, road trips is impossible uh, in Ghana. Uh, my four by four, <laughs> and now it's very difficult. So I think, yeah, is to just uh, put everything to make things easy for us, uh, for the travelers, make, make it easy to get the visas, um, without just opening our bodies, make it easy in the process. Uh, we have, like, we can do so many things in digital to make it easier for everyone. Um, once they are in Ghana, make them feel safe. So then when they go back, they talk about Ghana um, in a positive way to engage people uh, abroad to come back. Um, so I think, yeah, we are aware that Ghana is the place to be. Um, and this kind of events helps to discuss and create uh, opportunities for tomorrow. So I'm very happy and I think, yeah, you need to work now. So, yeah. Let's go to work. <laughs> One thing is sure, I'm booking my ticket for December. Be ready to welcome me in Ghana. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>